According to the Navy's most recent estimates, approximately 60,000 claims have now been filed under the Camp Lejeune Justice Act. There are estimates that there could be as many as 500,000 claims in the end. Our lawyers don't agree with this. We anticipate that the total claims will be somewhere around 100,000. The question everyone is asking now is when will the Camp Lejeune victims begin to receive settlement compensation on these claims? The Navy has already admitted to doing almost nothing to review the claims for settlement because it claims that it does not have the necessary administrative framework to evaluate this volume of claims, let alone a system to offer settlements. At this point, it doesn't look like the Navy will have that system up and running anytime soon. But recently, there has been increased political pressure for the Navy to get moving. In May, a bipartisan group of lawmakers publicly criticized the Navy and the Justice Department for what they perceived as a lack of prompt action in handling the Camp Lejeune claims. If and when the Navy and the GOJ get a system in place for handling the Lejeune claims, it will probably look very similar to the system that was set up a while back to handle compensation claims for victims of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. That system involved the development of a settlement model in which claimants were required to submit certain facts and information, which were then used to evaluate the claims and determine the appropriate level of compensation based on payout models in the statute. The system was very similar to a global settlement arrangement we see in mass tort cases. There are significant differences, however, between the Camp Lejeune claims and the 9-11 claims. For starters, very few of the 9-11 claims were contested, whereas the government will likely dispute a large percentage of, percentage of the Lejeune claims on causation grounds. Another major difference is that the Camp Lejeune claimants have the option of filing lawsuits if they don't get a settlement, which gives them leverage in settlement negotiations that 9-11 claimants simply didn't have. Camp Lejeune is much more like normal litigation, and our fear is that the effort to apply the 9-11 claims model is going to slow things down because it doesn't really fit. So in light of all this, what do we expect? Our hope is that the Navy gets its act together in the fall, and they begin to make settlement offers before the end of the year. That's our hope, and it's a real hope. But our less optimi optimistic expectation is that we could see the first Camp Lejeune settlement offers next summer. How much do we think Camp Lejeune victims will get in compensation? We think the average Camp Lejeune settlement will be between $250,000 and $400,000, with settlements ranging from $50,000 to beyond $1 million. Can we guarantee this? Of course not, but it's what we're projecting right now. If you have a Camp Lejeune claim, now is the time to act. Call us at 800-553-8082. We can help.